Hi friends and friendly subscribers, welcome back to my channel. This is Inner Hill Tara and today we're going to do unboxing. Oh, exciting. And a silent flip through and also hot takes of this new uh, tarot deck by Taylor Byrne um, uh, that called Myth and Legends Tarot. It's really exciting because um, I saw this uh, deck, it's very new and it's used a lot in another tarot reader called White Feather Tarot. She's really good in uh, her general reading basically and I'm really excited to be able um, to do unboxing of this deck because she's used it a lot quite recently and I just want to see what's going on with the whole deck you know um, yeah let's see and Tyler Byrne has also other tarot deck as well like um, there is an animal theme I think um, like two of them one is a seascapes one is like regular animal theme deck I think but I like this one because it's uh, the recurring theme of my recent uh, purchases of uh, tarot deck, especially the um, kickst uh, not Kickstarter but indie deck, like self-published decks. Yeah, I like the a little bit of dark. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. And this deck is actually came from a lady in the UK that she needs to sell the deck because she needs to pay the bill for one of her rescue. So I'm also going to put her link later on after she saw this video. She's probably going to put her link if you guys want to help, um, you know, for the bills as well. Anyway, let's get back to the... Um, to the deck itself so it came from philadelphia in 2022 written by constant lindstorm and taylor uh holdquist todd um i hope i don't butcher the name it comes with a little white book Okay, there's a little bit of explanation in each of the cards, which is nice because it's about myth anyway. So let's start. Wow, look at the edges. It's black color. So beautiful. And also this deck came with this um, tarot, with this tarot cloth as well that I never have before. So nice and it's velvety as well. It's beautiful graphic. Maybe I should use it for this. Let's see. All right, let's do this one. So yeah, let's do it this way. Look at that with the black metallic edges is so beautiful isn't it nice okay and as always guys before we start the silent flip through what do i need you guys to do bum, ba, da, bum, bum, bum. yes don't forget to subscribe share comments on the videos and also check the bio for um yeah for helping my friends um the person who sell this deck to me to help her bills for the vet and for jar tip me check my ebay store and all of these things can help my channel okay good now let's start the silent flip through enjoy guys yeah, we'll do like this.
Okay guys, we just finished the um, silent flip through of the Myth and Legends Tarot and boy, it's really cool huh? It's quite dark because most of the um, archetype that depicted here are from dark myths, you know, so for this like a what like the sleepy hollow where with the um Yoni Dept as the emperor with no head. It feels very Halloween feeling as well. And the hierophant is the she pan. Actually pan um that's um more uh, it is a pagan god of a vegetation pagan god that more uh, likely being recognized as the devil also in a lot of um uh, a lot of uh, Raider White Smith deck and also what what else that uh, she's been called as well there's a different name for it for for this character um but basically it's actually a pagan god of vegetation but uh, when Christianity came, um, like the rites that being used for this pagan god is using certain kind of flute, um, that um, that it's too high pitched and stuff like that, and it's uh, to induce together with the drum to induce the state of trance, and when you're in a state of trance, so you can enter a different kind of consciousness. And that kind of musical instruments, um, that kind of music within the drum and the flute is called panic, you know. So it's panic inducing. So, yeah, the, the Christian um, kind of twist it around. So it's making it like it's not good, this kind of music, because it's um, make people can enter godly consciousness and they don't want um to be bypassed so this type of instrument instrument is banned and that's why they came with the gregorian music so um so yeah that's why and they also like uh twisted the word panic become like something that people should be like a panic attack you know it's associated with negativity but actually this kind of panic music it's to um, enter a static trance dance kind of feeling and together with the with the eleusis mystery which is the as ergo mushroom that they drink this kind of soup it's uh, it's like an lsd basically so they can enter into a trance and can see what's going on with them and yeah it's all like a dionysian pan which is this god and in here is depicted as a woman goddess um it's the rites of the pagan before and then the other name of this uh goddess or goddess baphomet and Baph as baphomet also it's being demonized as the devil in a lot of uh, Christian lore. So, yeah, as a hierophant, of course, it's uh, very suitable for this deck, I guess, because it's kind of invite us to go back to the root of uh, before Christianity, before this Abrahamic um, religion, what is um, more connected to the earth, basically, this type of um, paganism religion. Um, yeah so for me it's very interesting because some of the legends i'm like for this example like this anubis were taking with the maat maat light feather um with the heart this is like when you're died kind of thing to see the justice of the situation and if your heart is as light as the feather you can enter the kingdom of heaven you know things like this um and also i'm really surprised with the wheel of fortune as seance depicted in here it's very interesting because uh, the wheel of fortune described as something that's um 
knowledge you know a knowledge that being departed by spirit that has gone to the other side it's quite it's a really <laughs> dark um deck if i'm honest uh when i see this you see like baphomet it's different um in here the devil it's not baphomet but it's a, a different um style of satan <laughs> And also this the tower. If I'm not wrong, this is like the legend of Mato Tipila, which is like the Native American um, legend as well. And let's see, let's check actually the tower. You see, I was right. <laughs> the Hierophant is Baphomet. Let's see. The tower. Yeah, Mato Tipila, you see? It's good. It's called the Devil's Tower, but actually um the the Native American name is Mato Tipila. And I'm following Satguru and Satguru went there as well and he said that Mato Tipila is one of the uh biggest energy, one of the biggest pinpoint energy in the world actually so i'm also wanted to go there you know to do some rituals it's very interesting is depicted it this way and this is the card that uh, made me want to purchase this deck because it came out a lot in a white feather tarot channel the la Ronogna, as the star la Ronogna is um is a ghost figure it also being immortalized in one of the netflix scary tv series actually um or is it a movie i forgot already so basically she uh, she killed her own children but then she's kind of like repressed that and then she's kind of blamed the other people and when she died she's become someone who's keep looking for her children you know she's keep calling children so yeah there's a lot of darkness in this deck and i love it you know because um for example queen of wands with the hecate here oh my god i i never seen hecate is depicted as the queen of wands right most of the time she's like two of wands or something like this um because she's she, she's the fork of the road kind of thing it's it would be interesting for me to um get to know her as an archetype uh, of queen of wands hecate and yeah and the way the the deck is descriptive here is very interesting also the the first one is not the ace of one but the queen of wands first king and then knight and page and then we go to the ace so i really have to read uh, some of the well i have to read the guidebooks what's up with this why the creator create the um the lineup of the images like this right it's very exciting to me to work with this deck soon okay guys so that is the video for today thank you so much for your time and please let me know if you already uh, in the comments if you already work with this deck as well what do you guys think is it also the same like me you guys feel that this deck is really dark and you know how how do you use it what kind of reading you use it if if you guys already have this deck and yeah as always thank you so much again please don't forget to subscribe share and comments and check out my bio for everything else if you want to help my channel okay thank you so much guys have a nice day and night anytime you watch this video thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you please subscribe so that you can help my channel to keep growing okay thank you